Hello. Today, for our literacy, we're going to have a go at making our very own river for your animals to cross over. Oh, lovely. So here's one we made earlier, but we're going to show you how to make your very own one now. What you'll need is a piece of white paper, or we've got a piece of blue paper. And I'm going to use some blue paint to make the river a bit darker. We've always got all the stuff we need. We have. And I'm not going to use a paintbrush today. I'm going to use a sponge. And this is just a sponge that we use to wash our dishes up with. Yucky. So what you do is put a little bit of blue paint on the sponge. And then you can dab it on the paper. Put more on. And it by using the sponge, it makes it a bit more texture and it looks a bit more like water, which is what we want. Now you don't have to just use dark blue paint, you could use white paint as well. And you could use light blue paint to give your water a bit more texture and make it look a bit more real. But we're just going to use some dark blue paint for now. You could cut out a river shape as well. You could. That would be very cool if you cut out a river shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to get some brown paper and we're going to scrumple it up to make the rocks in our river. So you just scrumple it up in your fingers. And you can place it on your paper to make the rocks. Oh, lovely. And you'll also need to cut out your cone animals from the story so that you can use them to cross the river and tell the story of the great race. Good luck with making your river and your stones in your river and anything else that you want to go in your river. A boat. And your cone characters. And have fun telling the story. and some videos 
for Pip and I to see your version of the oh, story. Oh, yes, please. We look forward to seeing it soon. Bye. Bye-bye.